And are you refreshed? Yes. Good. Now what? I knew you were going to call me. <laughs> well, I hoped you were. <laughs> this is my first time up here, but I've been to a few workshops. And I've never had a question like I have right now. Ten years ago, out of nowhere, a story popped in my head. And I'm not really a writer. I write some for work, but it's not what I do. But the story is so vivid, and it tugged at me in such a way, I feel like I'm supposed to do something with it. But I've listened to you talk all day about the train analogy, and I guess I'm... Well, after 10 years of the tugging... <laughs> it's time I give it up. <laughs> not at all, but you might have piled more resistance on it than if you had followed the inspiration right away. It's all right. It doesn't make any difference. We're just explaining to you what that tugging feeling is about. But if you can recall, and maybe you can, you said it just came to you. And that's really what inspiration is. And it's what we've been trying to describe as what happens when you get into the receiving mode and some vibrations begin to turn to thoughts. And this idea flows into your mind. And when it comes as a like fully downloaded story, it's a strong inspiration. And we would always follow through on something that feels strong like that. But since I didn't when it came, <laughs> is it too late to... Never, it's never too late. I still remember the whole... You may have more resistance to overcome than you really want to, but it doesn't make any difference. The more important thing that we would like you to emphasize for yourself about this is that you know for sure what the receiving mode feels like. That's your takeaway from this. Sort of came out of nowhere, it seemed like. It was a fully formed, it seemed, yes. conversation about something that you had not been giving a lot of thought to. None. Yeah. Well, that's inspiration. Yes. Oh, I love that. Okay, I'm going to write it.